talking about decorating for the holidays now. Halloween is easy of pumpkins and spider webs. Christmas is a given. But when it comes to Thanksgiving, you have turkeys and the cornucopia. And some of us might be saying to ourselves, what's a cornucopia? <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. It's the horn o plenty. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're going to give you some modern takes on what to do when it comes to the cornucopia. Jenny Sykes Schwank is here. She's an interior designer with Jenny Elizabeth Designs. And it looks like you had fun with this. I did. I really did. I love what you've done. So, let's start with the more traditional, the, should we? Exactly, the more traditional. This is one of those things that, as I talk to a lot of the women in my life, they all recalled that, yeah, I have one of those kicking around in the closet. And it was always very important to the mother or the grandmother that it come out at every Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But by the, when they pull it out, it's just sort of old and tired mm -hmm. and, yeah. So still traditional, but more of a modern take on it. And so modern and uplifting, lighter colors. The did you realize you did Packer colors? As I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> Happy accidents. <laughs> and I just, I love utilizing, you know, lemons, that fresh, sort of yellow and, and green sort of colors. Um, and not hard to do, because we've taken one of our platters that's gonna be brought to the table anyway, and this is your base, this is your safety net, and we're really just filling a basket. Mm. So we put it first in the platter, and then these are all items that I found in the clearance section at my local crafting store. Okay. So it didn't cost you a lot. You have attic and, and clearance. Attic and clearance. And it looks like designer. Yeah, it does. Thank you. And you know, I must admit, I did not know this was called a cornucopia. <laughs> I thought it was just a basket with some arrangement in it. That thing that your, your kids color in at school exactly. when it goes on the edge. Yeah, exactly. I've mm -hmm. seen it several times on a um, picture. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, it's that symbol of, of the bounty and, yeah, and sure. why we celebrate. What did, Bettina was just touching that. Mm -hmm. What did you wrap around the lemon? What I did is I found some scrapbooking uh, ribbon. This is sort of a damask pattern on the tablecloth, a damask pattern on the napkin. Mm -hmm. And then this is just a very fine damask pattern. Um, just some scrapbooking ribbon that I hot glued around a lemon. Oh, okay. And it's a really simple, um, vibrant little um, way to dress your plate. Beautiful. That's awesome. Let's move on to the middle. This is very modern looking. Very modern. Not everyone has a traditional home, nor do they have a traditional table setting this time of year. We don't necessarily have to go with Chinese food, but um, <laughs> you get the point. So what this is, is this is just 16 gauge um, craft store metal. It's very, very malleable. Um, one whole piece like this woven into a very modern, contemporary looking different version of the cornucopia. How did you get that shape? Um, you could just do it by hand. I took um, this yeah. old one from my closet and wrapped it around there oh, first and then sure. pulled, and it just pulled it off. And it's so springy and lightweight it was very, very simple. Oh, wow. And I like how you added the copper into your napkin. I did. Right? This was in my workbench. I can't remember where I picked it up, but it's just some simple copper wiring. If you tuck those little ends under and wrap it around your napkin and carry it through onto your plate. It's awesome. gorgeous. Thank and you. And the candles for a little extra. A little extra, just to give it a little pop, a little glow. You could do anything, a real quick series of, you know, three apples or lemons, and it's just keeping that simple, modern, contemporary feeling. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, now this was your favorite, right? That's my favorite. That will go with my home decor. And why is that your decor. favorite? Well, with my decor? yes, my house is more of a... Um, old world type feel, oh, like so yeah, that would definitely go. And this with the burlap is sort of part of what's mm -hmm. really in right now with, with design. And it's in, but it's also, it's, it has that, when you say old world, it's, it's a modern classic. Right. It's a reinterpretation sure. of the classics. So this piece right here is actually from the 1930s, and this was a piece that was mass produced in America, so it's very easy to find at your local Goodwill, um, something similar. It's not the traditional basket, but it is it still It still has horn. that shape of the horn. Yeah. It's a horn of plenty in my book. Yeah, mm -hmm. it sure is. Yeah. So, and what we've filled it with. Um, again, this is this is my thrifty take on it. Mm -hmm. This was from Goodwill. Um, these are craft store feathers, but if you have a hunter in your life, you might have oh, an overabundance of feathers. Mm -hmm. And you can clean them up very easily with just a little soap and water. Um, there's no danger of anything because they're they're off the bird. They're done. Right. Um, and this was just two steps. It was this vintage piece, a little foam, and then you just put in the feathers and sort of fan them out. And then added a little feather flare to your Again, table setting. If you notice with all three, we've just taken a little bit from the centerpiece and then brought it, carried it down onto the mm -hmm. plate mm -hmm. to create some cohesiveness on the table. Would the, so that would work for your that Thanksgiving? That would work for my house. Not here, but the house in Dallas, yes, so it would definitely work. Oh, I may do that one Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a little picture. And, and let's talk a little bit about the whole idea I see on each one of these that you layer. 
I layer. I like to layer. I like to start with a good dressing on the table. Always dress the table. Um, you could even do a series of runners, similar to how we have this set up. Okay. And then put your plates on there, matching runners. Uh -huh. um, but always start with that first layer, and then that inspires what kind of plate you choose and continuing that, that color as you as you layer up. Now, for something like the burlap, you don't have to sew it or anything, You right? don't, and I actually just did a real light iron on here. Okay. Um, I folded it under, um, real easy to cut, and it, it already has sort of a nice rustic look to it. Right. You're only gonna, gonna add to it. What I like is that some of this is gonna work until you get ready for your Thanksgiving, or your Christmas mm -hmm. decorations yes. too, or you could incorporate some of that into I think you could. I think the feathers are timeless. Um, mm -hmm. I think I've seen Christmas trees. I've done Christmas trees with the pheasant feathers. Again, it just has that old world, rustic, mm -hmm. modern, classic feel to it. With football so, such a big part of your life, do you have Thanksgiving traditions, Patina? Um, we not really a tradition, but um, we do have dinner. <laughs> and I <laughs> cook one. Some, sometimes. If my but if my family mom, comes over, we do. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Right. I think we we'll, we may have quite a few people in our home this this year. But we'll see. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for the great ideas, You're Jenny. Welcome. And Jenny is the one who designed our set here, <laughs> so I can't wait to see what you do for the holidays for Christmas. For Christmas. Yes. yes. <laughs> so Jenny Elizabeth Designs. Thanks, Jenny. You're welcome. Thank you.